now on the American Health Journal. Learning you have valvular heart disease is frightening. Making the prospect far less frightening are the advances made in microsurgery and robotic assisted surgery as applied to heart surgery. We spoke with Dr. Aidan Rainey of Hogue Memorial Hospital Presbyterian in Newport Beach about these tremendous strides and what they mean to a patient who can benefit from them. After the patient is diagnosed with valvular heart disease, the next uh, step is really to determine the severity of the disease, whether or not it's something that for the most part they need not worry too much about, or whether or not it's more severe. And the question then is going to be uh, whether it should be treated, uh, and most likely surgically. Uh, and, and then the, the final question has to be answered is uh, the timing. Should the, should the patient uh, be monitored and carefully followed up, or uh, should the patient undergo a surgical procedure in the near future? As the heart enlarges or gets thickened or hypertrophied is what it's called, then you have uh, consequences uh, of the valvular disease causing potential damage to the heart that may or may not be reversible unless it's corrected properly and on a timely fashion. What are some of the obvious benefits? The goal of surgery is, is really to do a number of things. The first is to stop progression of disease. It's to correct the valvular heart problem and also to restore the heart function back to its normal function. Uh, this will allow the patient then to resume normal activities, uh, even to the uh, point where they can resume uh, very uh, exertional uh, types of uh, sports, uh, even running marathons, things like that. And also, it helps to, to restore the heart back to its normal size uh, and function. So there's a number of reasons that the uh, surgical uh, procedure has a great benefit to the patient. People who have uh, moderate to, to severe valvular heart disease really only have a surgical option as the true uh, correct uh, approach to deal with their valvular heart disease. Once the patient goes to the operating room, we present three options for the patients uh, in terms of their valvular uh, surgical uh, procedure. The first option is a standard incision, which we would use if a patient has, uh, say, a requirement for bypass surgery. The second option is to do a small incision in the middle of the chest called a minimally invasive mini sternotomy. And then the third option that we present is the option to have valvular heart disease corrected with a robotic approach, that is a robotic assisted approach. The surgeon is still doing the surgery, but he's sitting at a console and it's, it allows to have very small incisions uh, and a quicker recovery time. And what about recovery and rehabilitation? The patients with valvular heart disease, some have a shorter course. For example, those who have a robotic mitral valve repair are usually in the hospital four days after the surgery on average. Someone who has been sick for a long period of time, who may be elderly, we do valve heart surgery in patients in their 70s, 80s, even some in their 90s. They're gonna be in the hospital maybe seven to, seven to 10 days. It depends on the patient. Most patients typically are in the ICU one night and the very next day we get them up moving around and, and most of them go home on the fifth day uh, after the uh, heart surgery. When it comes to the point where the patients have surgery, especially for mitral valve uh, surgery, uh, Dr. Shaw comes up to the operating room, we work together, uh, we outline our approach, then we do the surgery and then we come off the heart lung machine and then reevaluate the repair at that time and Dr. Shaw comes back up uh, at that point. So we have a very unique uh, uh, team uh, at the Heart Valve Center at Hogue and uh, we work very closely together.